Well, so far we have been learning about it. So we have two um, different sizes of the border. They're on opposition, so two military personnel. They've been guarding this position for over six years. So there's a woman on the other side who's been guarding that side. So every week they're not allowed to talk until Sunday. But the talking has become very, very similar. It's very repetitive. But the conversation has become very samey. But the woman has got a very, very secret um, reason for why she's there and the guy doesn't know about this. Audiences should come because it's different. It's a different type of theatre. It's not anything you've seen before. It's not a spoken play that you listen to. This is very different. <clears throat> there are two hearing and two deaf characters or deaf, deaf people playing each role. And there's a different way of acting and it's a different way of showing the play. So it's very interesting. I th I'm hoping that people are going to be able to connect with it, but in a way that they might not have expected to. Um, a lot of people may not have they may have seen an interpreted piece of performance, but they may not have seen deaf actors playing parts before. They may have done, but they might not. But I'm hoping that everyone's going to be able to connect with it on some level. And I'm hoping that that might surprise people as well. Like, oh, I got that, even though I don't speak sign language, or that's amazing how they're working together and how they're understanding and how they're communicating. Um, I think it's really exciting. Yeah, so it's come out of a Creative Europe project, which is across uh, six countries across Europe, where we're all producing the same play. Um, and it came out of an idea from a uh, Flemish theatre company who had seen a Finnish play that had been presented with each character being played by two actors, one hearing and one deaf. And uh, the idea was to try and uh, spread this method of making theatre around Europe um, using the Creative Europe Fund to uh, basically make a guidebook on how you can produce theatre like this. So this was the play that was selected and uh, we're fifth out of sixth to make these shows and uh, yeah we're, we're in rehearsals now to, to bring the show to the stage in the UK.